wanted to take a second and talk about the distance formula in 3D, okay? And you might know the distance formula in 2D, and if you don't, I'll do it right here, okay? So I'll draw my little axis, 2D axis, and, you know, this would be my X plane, and this would be the Y plane that I'm used to, or the Y coordinate system that I'm used to. Uh, here you might notice that the X and Y are flat, just so I can give a third dimension of Z. So if I have two, two points out in space here, right? And let's call, well, this, this one right here is X1, and this one's X2. And this one over here will be Y1, and this one will be Y2, right? Well, how do I find the distance between those points, right? Meaning this guy right here. How do I find that distance? Well, I can use a, uh, a formula that I know pretty well called Pythagorean Theorem. And how do, how do, I, how do I do that? Well, I, I, you can see I just made a little triangle there. And this is my A, and this will be my B, and that will be my C. And you know the Pythagorean Theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And I want to show how this relates to three dimensions. Well, right now we're talking about two. So what is A? Well, A is just my X2 value right, right there. Oops, not squared, not squared. Right? X2 minus my X1 value. And my B is my Y2 value minus my Y1 value. And we're just going to call that a uh, little bit easier terminology, change in X and change in Y. So for any two points, it doesn't matter where they are, this formula becomes, well, let's look at my a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I get change in x, that's my a squared, plus change in y, and that's squared. And you know what I'll, I'll call that? I'll just leave it as c. c will be the distance formula, but normally you'd call it d. Um, so I'll just call it c, though. And that equals c squared, which means that the change in change in x squared plus change in y squared, the square root of all that, is just the distance c. And so how does that relate to the third dimension, okay, the 3D axis that I have over here? Well, consider a point, a, a very pink point, right? Consider a point that, that goes out here, somewhere out in space, this point right here, okay, that point. We'll call it P. Um, so we'll call it even P1, right? So what is the distance from the origin, right, to P1? And I'll call that D. Okay, so we'll use that as our D. So the question is, what is D? All right, and D is the whole distance. Well, if I, if I look at this, the, you know, I'm going to try to relate this to Pythagorean theorem. Well, that Z, that Z is how far out in this XY plane is that point P? Like how far out here will be kind of its shadow, right? Where will its shadow fall? And since I'm correcting for perspective there, it kind of slants inward right there. And its shadow would fall just about there, right? Let's say its shadow falls there. And there's a perpendicular, this is a perpendicular line between the shadow and and the point up here, right? So there's that. Now that starts to look like a a, a, uh, a right triangle like we saw up here, you know, like, like this guy up here. Well, we obviously, we know that we can find the Pythagorean theorem when using that. Well, how big is this? Well, that's Z, right? From the, from the point all the way up, that's, that's Z, this point right here, right? That's that point. And how, how big is this distance? Well, this distance is the same thing as what I have over here, right? It's just the change in x squared plus y squared, right? And it's come from the origin, so I don't have to write change in because x, because here, because x, whatever the point is, minus 0 is just x, right? And that is the change in x. So I squaring the change in x will just be the same thing as just x squared. Okay, so that. So now I use the Pythagorean theorem and I find that, I'll do it in blue, d squared equals this thing squared, right? Change in x squared plus y squared squared, all right, plus z squared, right? And to simplify that a little bit, right, to make it a little bit simpler looking, it becomes d squared equals, now if I square the uh, square root, I take away the radical, I get x squared plus y squared, and I just add the z squared. Well, guess what? d is equal to the square root of that whole thing. x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Look familiar? Of course it does. It's the same thing as the Pythagorean theorem, but in 3D.